Yay! Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Maria. This is Stacy Zerker with Northwest Senior and Disability Services, and I'm here today with Lilani Herleman from Adventist Health. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for for being here today. I am so excited because I know you do so much great work at the hospital. You're an RN. Yes. And so, tell me a little bit about your role and uh, the services you provide. Uh, here for people in Tillamook. Absolutely. So I have a position that is called an RN oncology navigator or a nurse navigator. Um, what I do is I work with patients. I try and get involved with their um, into their journey right at diagnosis mm-hmm. so that I can help them through that whole process. It's a crazy world yeah. when people hear the cancer word. Uh, they, the big C, the big as I hear C, a lot of people exactly. say, it's not very fun to talk about. No, but it's not really, and it and it becomes overwhelming very quickly. Yeah, um, and so I can step in and really help the patient through the process from the very beginning and let them know, you know, here's where here's where we are right now. This is going to be your journey. We have a roadmap right now. We're working on a very good visual aid Mm -hmm. that will help a patient say, okay, I'm at diagnosis and I have this and this and this to go through, you know, maybe more testing, more diagnostics, more pictures and, and, um, a biopsy and, and they'll know that that's going to be a little bit of a wait. It's a lot of scary when the unknown. So kind of taking that away and so people know what to expect is probably hugely important. It is. Absolutely. And, you know, and I've, I'm lucky enough to have had patients say to me, I don't know what I would have done without you. And Mm. that is priceless. Yeah. Um, You know, I'm so honored to be a part of their life at that time anyway. It's, it's very scary. And if I can help with some of that fear and um, the not knowing, right. that's what I'm here for. And what got you into this? Well, <laughs> it was accidental, actually. That's usually how things work. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, you learn to just go with it. After things happen, I go, oh, okay, yeah, that's why that all happened to me. Mm-hmm. Um, really, um, this position was born from a grant that we received uh, probably about three years ago now. And oh, okay. it was to um, test this position. It is really a, uh, I don't want to say brand new position, but it's only about a 10 year old position in the nursing world. Oh, okay. So I'm a pioneer. Woo woo. Awesome. Yes, exactly. So it's kind of fun to know that what I'm laying down now will be, you know, used yeah. in other generations. And it sounds like, I mean, there's a, there's a huge medical in um, element to it, but there's, it feels a little bit social worky too, you know, like you're providing that support and, and yes. those kinds of things, which probably really allows you to deepen your relationship with people. And that really does. What I'm able to do is really kind of do a lot of the paperwork. And like you said, the social work part, yeah. um, in the background. Mm-hmm. And, um, luckily they don't know a lot of the processes that I have to go through to help them. And that's good because right. there are often times, you know, a couple of days worth of work to get something like maybe their their medication covered okay Um, and so I get to take that worry away but the beauty of it is that I also am free to go into each room when they're there uh, Wednesday Thursdays Fridays when Mm -hmm. we have our oncologist and and just be a face-to-face um, you know, shoulder to cry on yeah. somebody to, I've had a patient say to me when I walked in, I really don't want to talk about me today. Tell me your story. Yeah. <laughs> you well, know. it's, uh, it has to be so overwhelming. So having that person that can, uh, you develop these relationships with and what an important thing to be doing for our community. Thank you. It is. I'm blessed. Yeah. So, um, so the hospital has, so you're doing your oncologist, he travels from, the Portland area? He, he actually travels from, he lives in Forest Grove. He works at Tuolany. Oh, okay. So Dr. Gibbs has been at this, and I was going to ask him before I left this morning, I want to say over 20 years at um, at our hospital at Tillamook yeah, Regional. Yeah, I hear his name a lot. Yeah, he's, he's pretty awesome. So what he did is years ago, he saw that a lot of his elderly patients were coming from Tillamook out to Tuolany, mm-hmm. driving over the hill and in winters and so mm. on. And he said, he took it in his great big heart and said, you know, I don't want this to happen. I'll go to them. Right. And so what started out as a one-room chair 
oncology department at the end of ER with him mixing his own chemo medications. Oh, wow. <laughs> has now sprouted into this, eight, you know, eight room, private rooms, uh, six, six or eight nurses. I can't remember mm -hmm. the navigator and Dr. Gibbs is here two and a half days a amazing. week. Amazing. Yeah, it's That's pretty amazing. exciting. So what do people know as far as uh, need to know in regards to screenings and um, you know, these kinds of things, because I think it's scary, like mm -hmm. we talked about. Mm -hmm. So what are some thoughts that you have in regards to if you really are not feeling well, or what are some signs that I, sh that people should be thinking about? Right, right. Well, as far as screening, you know, it's always um, the best thing to to say is early screening. Sure. So there are parameters set out there by, you know, American Cancer Society and, uh, and so on. Um, you know, for women, like with breast cancer, you want to start your mammograms at 40 and then mm -hmm. yearly um, colorectal screening. We're saying 50. However, I've gone to a uh, colorectal screening summit and I'm kind of starting to say maybe even a little bit younger. Really? Yes, okay. absolutely. But that's in the works a little bit. So sure. it's not official. Um, and so, yes, definitely getting your screening done early. Don't be afraid. Um, if most cancers now we've come so far in our chemotherapies and in our in our care that we um that earlier detection you're you know much better off of sure. course and there was a, a lot of rigmarole here about a year ago that they were saying american breast cancer society or someone was saying that you don't have to get annual breast exams but that's kind of goes a little bit against i think what we're right. promoting here right. locally right exactly and that that's interesting because the last time i was here that was a hot controversy oh really yes and i remember reading like crazy going okay what am i supposed to say say um I believe that that thought process went away pretty darn fast. Did it? Fast. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, that's a good mm -hmm. message to uh, to know because, uh, yeah, well, cause sometimes when something like that goes out, gets mm -hmm. out there, yeah. it just becomes, oh, okay, well, I don't have to deal with this. And it's really not that bad to go get a, ma a mammogram it isn't. and all that. It isn't. We have the soft pads. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there is there it's is five that. minutes of your time. Exactly. And yeah. if you happen to catch it on spa day, which is uh, once every three months, um, Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> I need to partake in this, actually. <laughs> the last time it happened, I'm, oh, darn it, I forgot. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can call up. Women can call up and ask for spa day. When is the next spa day? You uh, get your appointment that day. Mm -hmm. And what you come into is a lobby or a waiting room with lovely treats, the mm -hmm. best scones ever from our kitchen. Excellent. It's always about food. Uh, and of course. <laughs> and the food there is fantastic. I've been exactly. at different events and things. It exactly. really is. <laughs> <laughs> so I start with food and then you get to, uh, you go in, you have your mammogram, you come out and you get a rose. Oh, wow. You get a shoulder massage, a five minute sh soldier, shoulder massage. There we go. Excellent. You get um, treats. So, you know, anything like breast cancer related keychains to shopping mm -hmm. bags. To, little bling, you know, little, some swag. Li exactly. A little fun thing. Kick, Booby kick swag. cancer. Swag. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and so um, it's just really kind of a fun way and a more relaxing way to have something that's kind of scary. well and there's a little fellowship people are all there for the same reason yes. and you kind of can joke and laugh about it a little that bit instead true. of get all that unnerved you right. know nervous energy and things like that right. so and did i mention the scones and there <laughs> rumor on the street <laughs> everybody's talking about the scones <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> exactly so well good well let's take a little bit of a break here uh where do you go to find almost anything you need for home improvement I'll tell you where, Rosenberg's. Rosenberg's has been your local connection for anything you need to build and finish your house to perfection. Carpet, cabinets, paint, electrical, plumbing, nuts and bolts, fencing, windows, doors, and so much more. All those items in one place, but that's only part of the story. What really make, makes Rosenberg's your stop for home improvement is their people. Their knowledgeable, friendly staff is there to help you through any project. Any question from what paint you should use to how to install a new shower valve, you can get the help you need and do it right the first time. Stop by Rosenberg's today to rediscover what we've known all along. It's better to shop local and work with great people that you can see every day. Build it, wire it, plumb it, paint it. Rosenberg Builder Supply in Tillamook. My favorite. Speaking of food, they have that little food cart out in front of um, 
Rosenberg's. Have you ever had a sandwich there? I have there? not, but I've heard so many things it's about so it. It's so amazing. <laughs> the turkey and jalapeno jam. Oh. And then you have the scone for dessert. Yeah, you see? You can do a little merry tour. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Oh, if you're just tuning in, this is Stacy with Northwest Senior and Disability Services with Lilani Herleman, who is an RN in the oncology department at the hospital. And we're talking about early screening and early detection uh, and all the different things that are happening at the hospital with uh, in our chemo and cancer right. uh, department. Exactly. So. Yeah colorectal screenings that's kind of the hot topic we started to talk about it a few minutes ago right. um and you don't have to wait till you're 50 nowadays there's what what has changed like is there more uh research out there saying it's more prominent and so you need the earlier detection yeah or? exactly that's what they have found that they are finding cancers in an earlier at an earlier age um and also something that i'm i'm excited to be a part of is uh the colorectal screening is called a fit test so it's a um, basically a test that we send home to the patient mm-hmm. so they don't af- have to necessarily come in for a colonoscopy. Okay. So, and let me uh, go I think back I need more say, information. Yeah, well, I know. I'm trying to figure out how to delicately, <laughs> right. delicately say this. Sure. But uh, let me retract here really quickly and say that colonoscopy is actually the number one proven um, screening for colorectal cancer. Okay. cancer. However... We have some people that are shy. They don't want to do the prep work. So they don't scary. want to come in. It's kind of scary. And mm-hmm. it's it's a little bit daunting to think that, you know, what has to happen. So we have something called a fit test. So that we send this um, out to the patient, comes to your home, and, um, uh, ooh, and to say it in a very professional way. We can way. just throw it out there. Okay. Well, you get to play with your poo. Okay. So you take a sample on your own. You put it in a, in a marked... A little container that sure. you sent, and you bring that in. You can either send it back, or you can bring that into the facility, into our clinic, or into our hospital. And it's tested for um, for blood, and it's also which is could be indicative of uh, cancer, colon sure. cancer. And um, now they even have fancier ones that are testing for genes. Wow. Yeah. I'm. There's so many things going in my mind. Like I'm thinking about like how to make that all happen and counterbalancing. And... Well, there's a little piece of paper they give you, right. and you know, they don't give it. It comes with instructions, folks. It's not that bad. It does in English and in Spanish, and there's pictures. See, so we're fine. No fail. Right. So, well, that's great because it's non-invasive, and right. it kind of at least can maybe when you're young, a little younger, you could use that as kind of a. Tiptoe your way into yeah. needing procedures and stuff. And I have to say, I took a really good friend of mine to um, the VA for mm-hmm. a colonoscopy recently. Mm-hmm. And he it was fine. It mm-hmm. took a very minimal amount of time. Right. The buildup and the anticipation of this procedure was so incredible like oh my gosh and so we true. there it was so scary <laughs> and then he came out and he was like oh that was so bad yeah, at all. I don't even remember a bit of it yeah, yeah. Exactly. and so I think that's a really good message for mm-hmm. people to remember too it's that anticipation it really is um you know of course they give you the right medication so you don't really remember right yeah and I I myself actually just had one because yes I did turn the ripe old age of 50 mm-hmm. in July so it was you my look turn. fantastic well, thank you so much <laughs> in fact my co-worker Worker, my office mate, Chris Benjamin, thank you. He uh, kept teasing me when I just before my birthday. Well, you mm-hmm. know what happens when you're 50. Yeah. So, you know, I had you to know, put my... you're 18. Yeah, right. you're tw- we're 21. <laughs> we're 20. There's things to be excited about. 50 it is a little is. questionable. You, know, you get your colonoscopy. <laughs> yay. So, of course, you know, I wanted to have that done. That was really mm-hmm. important to me. And working Check in the field, the I do. Mm-hmm. That's very important. So, yeah, it was painless. Well, that's good. And the, and the other part is the, you know, you have to drink the whatever it is that. Right. What is it called? Well, we have, um, oh, you would ask me now. I can't yeah, think the, of it, right? Any of, some, any of the prep stuff. That Does it start with B? Oh. Anyway, so you drink the juice stuff. Right. And The laxative. For, and the, yeah, my yeah. friend, he had to do it for 48 hours. Oh, wow. They really like, oh, wow. yeah. you know, it okay. was a situation. Woo. He got some some uh, jello and broth and yeah, it was a whole <laughs> thing. But we had a lot of jokes and you can yeah. you make light of it, of oh, course. Yeah. But yes. but even that wasn't that bad. Right. You know, so no, it isn't. It's fine. I just looked at it as a quick weight loss program. There you go. Okay, you that was a joke. It really, you know, you really don't lose weight. But you know. clean, it's, it's spring cleaning. Right. right? There you go. <laughs> That's a good way. 
to look at it every spring. Have it. <laughs> so, um, and then there's a new partnership with OHSU too. Yes, absolutely. And that just finally was announced today. So oh, I'm really excited. My niece, how's that for timing? My niece works at OHSU, and she sent me a text this morning and said, "Wait, yay!" And I said, "Oh yeah, we've known about this." So really, it's um, going to focus on our Adventist Health Portland um, mm-hmm. sister hospital right away. Okay. And then uh, eventually they will be working with us here in Tillamook. Um, I don't want to say too much about it because I don't know all the details, uh, but yeah. we'll still be an Adventist health facility. So this facility. is like a sneak peek. It is, yeah. exactly. It's a little teaser. So I'm very excited about it. Well, and and so you're talking about this partnership and starting, you know, with your sis, our sister hospital mm-hmm. in Portland. Mm-hmm. But Let's talk about all the great things and services that can be be provided right here, because I think a lot of times people don't realize that I agree. Uh, they can really get a lot of great right care everything here. we have. So um, it starts, of course, with a navigator. So you have a new best friend walking mm-hmm. you through the process. Uh, we also have surgeons here that can perform mastectomies. We also have them do lumpectomies. They can do biopsies. Oh, okay. Our radiation department can, or sorry, radiology department can also do a biopsy. Then we go into the fact that we have Dr. Gibbs, our oncologist hematologist, Mm -hmm. who is here uh, half a Wednesday, all day Thursday, and all day Friday. So people can come here for their uh, oncology care. Uh, And then we also have chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. So we can provide any of the infusion therapies Mm -hmm. uh, that the oncologist has suggested. Another nice thing that I like to tell people is if you choose to not see Dr. Gibbs, and that's fine. We do have people that want to go over the hill for specific care. Uh, You can also have that doctor out in the valley send our clinic the the orders, Mm -hmm. and you can still have your infusion therapy done by certified oncology nurses. So it really minimizes the travel. It really minimizes that travel. And when you're going through that, Yes. The travel can be really significant. It really can. Now, with that said, the one hard part is that we do not have radiation therapy. That's mm-hmm. just about the only thing we don't offer okay. in our oncology department. And that's a little rough, but with my position, I have a really good friendship with several of our uh, hospitals out in the valley, you know, out in Tuolity especially, and our sister hospital, Adventist Health. And we've worked on ways to for help for with transportation right so it's kind of oh, nice okay. yeah exactly i've been able to get people it's not convenient but uh, get them on the wave mm-hmm. and then they have a van at Tuality where they meet somebody at the stop pick them up oh, okay. take them in for their radiation so you know there are a lot of friendships and relationships that i've worked on with outside facilities gotcha. that have made it more of a you know really a big family Oh, sort of good, yeah. good. Well, because people need support. They do. And they Absolutely. need to have these relationships mm-hmm. because that way it's not, maybe it's a little, just a scotch less scary. It is when you have somebody. And, and we do have a women's support group that we uh, provide every first Wednesday of each month. Okay. And it's just a lovely group. I've been wow. a part of it for a little over a year now. And I'll tell you, when these women come in and they don't really know each other, or maybe somebody that's new to it, come, they come in and they start telling their stories. And next thing you know, they're all, you know, oh, yes, well, when I had that medication, this is what happened to me. And yeah, you lost your hair now, but it should start coming back at this time. Oh, really? You know, and they just really share each other, other stories. Wow. And, um, and powerful. learn. It is powerful. There's some amazing friendships that I've seen. And it just, I have goosebumps talking yeah. about it because it's, it's really important. Somebody going through what you are going through. Well, and um, that's so that's the first Wednesday of every month, it you is. said, at the, the first, hospital? At the clinic. So at it's the at clinic. The, what we call the plaza, so the clinic okay. over in the conference room. Wow, Absolutely. that's amazing. And it yeah, just, you know, it. that's really a little, you know... Even though obviously it's a medical facility, there's right. some holistic things happening. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's one thing I really find with uh, the oncology or the cancer world is it it is a whole body, mind, and spirit. And um, I see a yeah. lot of that given with our staff to our patients. 
Uh, The other thing that's really exciting that is happening, and I'm so excited about this, uh, Angela McKibben and myself are... I love Angela. I know, isn't she? She's great. Oh, she did her... She has the biggest heart of anyone. Always has a smile on her face. (laughs) Right, exactly. She does. So she and I are actually starting a class, a Look Good, Feel Better. It's through the American Cancer Society. So this will be... Let me get my cheat sheet here, actually, so I can cheat. The next one we have is (laughs) Wednesday, December. 13th. It's 10 a.m. to noon, and it's up on the third floor of the hospital. What the Look, look Good Feel program at, or Look Good Feel Better is about is we are asking women that are that have gone through chemo. Maybe they've lost their hair. Maybe they've lost their hair and it's back and it's a little thin. Sure. Maybe their eyebrows aren't back. Maybe their eyelashes aren't you know aren't back, or they're just losing them. Just whatever various stage you are in, um, and you can come in and you are provided with a makeup bag with just some amazing product. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty much valued over about 200 we've decided oh, wow. and we're talking nice name brand Estee Lauder so um and you know different name brands like that so Angela being a, a aesthetician mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hard yeah. one to spit out she <laughs> rolls off the right, tongue <laughs> she'll lead the class and what she does is she really helps these women to sit in front of a mirror all together in a group and you learn how to put on eyebrows you oh, learn wow. how to. You learn that your skin gets a little dry during therapy. Maybe you need this moisturizer. What do you, you know? What do you need to do here to cover up dark circles that you haven't wow. had before? So, um, and, and you can make you can kind of have fun with it because there's a bunch of people. And that was the beauty of it when we went oh, to see our first one. It is. It's neat. When we saw our first one, these women didn't know each other again, and and by the time they were done, they were like, "Oh my gosh, you have to keep that wig." Oh, and speaking of wigs. Mm-hmm. If we also have wigs to try on and scarves, we'll teach you how to tie scarves that day sure. too. If you find a wig that you like that we have, you get one free one a year. Wow. Yeah. So that's oh, really that's exciting. That's so amazing because they're expensive sometimes, right? They're very expensive. And so I've done a lot of um, begging and right, I have sure. received a lot of wigs now. And, and that's neat to, to see somebody's face light up. And Such good work. So amazing. Well, let's, um, I got to take just one more quick little break here. Uh, Tillamook Regional Medical Center's monthly club chip complete health improvement plan is the third Monday of the month at 630 in the lower level of the Adventist Church. This month, Club Chip is about nutrition and willpower. You'll learn about foods rich in nutrients that decrease anxiety and improve mood, how to decrease cravings and increase, I can't say it, I, I don't know. Satiate, Sati- yeah. Satiation. Or, Sati- yeah. Satiation. I don't know. I skipped this that word last time Satiate. when I read this because right. I couldn't get it. And how healthier gut bacteria affects your behavior. Uh, no charge for this informative program. And you can RSVP at 503-815-2270. Um, so satiation. Woo. Yeah, right. That's my homework between yeah. now and next month. Welcome to the medical world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Um, so anyway, you know, I think that just kind of in the last few minutes here, I think it would also be important to talk about, um, what, uh, what, the number. I just wanted to oh, add that. Oh, the yeah, number. Sorry. Yes. Let's hear the number for this, uh, for the look good, feel better class. That's the next one's on okay. December 13th. Thanks, Stacey. Sorry. I was trying to do Panama. Or, no. You know, trying to get your, yeah. Charades has never right, been my strong suit. There, exactly. <laughs> I need this. So uh, this is a little unusual because they have to register through American Cancer Society. Ah, gotcha. You can call me personally to ask questions about it and mm-hmm. i'm at 815-7564 so 503-815-7564 also we need to have you call 888-227-6333 and that is to register for the look good feel better program okay so if you're listening and that's something that you are really interested you can call that number let's mm-hmm. give it one more time the okay. 888 number that is 888 888- Two two seven six three three three. So that's a good way to do it. You can call the hospital, yes. ask for Lalani, mm-hmm. um, call me. A lot of people hear the show, and so they remember Stacy with Northwest Senior and Disability Services, and I'll get you to Perfect. the right person, right. Um, or can have Lalani reach out to you if yeah. you you know whatever. There's there's ways you can call the station. We, you know we'll get you. We'll connect you to the right person. Exactly. So. Um, anyway, I'm just curious a little bit, like, what are some things to think about as far as prevention? We're talking about, um, 
you know, colorectal screenings mm-hmm. and breast cancer mm-hmm. screenings and all these treatments. Mm-hmm. But what are some things that people can do today to be thinking about a healthy lifestyle right. uh, for prevention purposes? There really is a lot that we can do. Um, of course, exercise is important. Eating healthy, eating foods as whole as you can get them, as whole as nature made them. So, okay. um, you know, the idea of shopping on the outside of the grocery store is one thing we try and suggest. So mm-hmm. whole foods, your whole your whole vegetables, your fruits, and your be able to meats. pronounce everything that's on the ingredients See, list. Exactly, you should probably be able to. If it has sugar in it, you know, what, kind of watch your labels with that. Mm-hmm. Um, lowering your intake of sugar can help. Um, and just exercise, of course, I think I already mentioned that, Sure. um, which is very important. There's actually a lot of studies out now about exercising while doing chemotherapy and a a more positive outcome, Mm -hmm. um, from doing that. So, well, and exercise, sometimes it's one of the hardest things to get, especially nowadays, you know, during the winter months, the weather's bad. It's harder to get out for walks and things like that. But Mm -hmm. I, you know, there, there's so much to be said about having that oxygen running through your body. There really is. And I think, yeah, was really helped that, um, with getting, you know, the why involved and people can walk at the why now and, and walk out at the, um, fairgrounds. I mm-hmm. understand there's a program out there where they can. Yeah, the year of wellness has been great for promoting has. all of these wonderful um, programs. Mm-hmm. And you can go to that Tillamook County Health Matters to get a list of all the different opportunities there are. There's hiking groups. And then, of course, OSU Extension has the strong women classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Northwest Senior and Disability Services partners with the Y for the Tai Chi classes. Correct. Lots of good opportunities yes. that don't cost anything or cost very minimal amounts so that people people at any age can be mm-hmm. out there uh, taking care of themselves. Exactly. And and um, taking ownership of their own health. Yeah. Really. And you had mentioned the CHIP program during the yes. break. Mm-hmm. Absolutely wonderful program. Yeah. Um, I hear so many good success it is. stories. It is. And a lot of people think of it as diabetes, you know, just diabetes. But boy, it's mm-hmm. a great training for healthy eating. Yeah. And general. it's that that one, it's the hospital. Uh, they do it multiple times a year yes. and then do some maintenance classes like the one that's coming up. Yes. Um, and that's uh, three nights a week for like six weeks. Yes. You get lots of education. Mm-hmm. So really you get some tools that we need so that we can be leading a healthy lifestyle. It's and they very feed fun. you. And they feed you. Not scones. But oh, they feed you. I was I just know. about to get excited about the scones right? again. Me too. <laughs> I'm stopped by the hospital up. on the way back. <laughs> I had blueberry this morning. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is this an intervention? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it <should> intervention. Be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as we wrap up today, uh, a couple of things today. Uh, our sponsors were Rosenberg Builder Supply and Tillamook Regional, Regional Medical Center. Uh, happy birthday to Malin Opeya. Monday, the fair board will be here to talk about what's been happening at the fairgrounds. Uh, reminder that senior meals are at 1130 at St. Mary's by the Sea in Rockaway Beach every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and noon every weekday at the Kiwanda Community Center in Pacific City, as well as Tillamook Senior Center at 4th and Stillwell. Uh, and Tuesdays and Thursdays at the Nehala Methodist Church. The cost is $3 for seniors and six seventy five dollars for everyone else. Tonight, Pacific Restaurant is hosting a Shop with the Cop fundraiser benefit from 5 to 9. I'm, I'm going to try and go. I'm really yeah, excited about that. Go. 50% of the dinner cost goes to the Tillamook Shop with the Cop program, which is a great program where kids can go shop uh, for Christmas presents with one of our local law enforcement agents. Uh, Eagles are holding a prospector's membership drive. Sounds like a fun time to with a chili bar, raffle, and more. Saturday from 5 to 7 at the Eagles Lodge. So you can hit Pacific Restaurant tonight. Uh, the Eagles tomorrow. And then Tapa's newest comedy closes this weekend. Money Matters shows Friday and Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 2. Tickets for this hilarious show are available at Diamond Art Jewelers. And you can call there at 842 842- Seven nine four zero. Saturday, the Pioneer Museum is holding their first annual Mook Book Fair and sale from 10 to 2. Meet local authors who have a variety of books for sale in all genres. So that'll be fun. And then there's a holiday open house and book sale with Amanda Parkinson at Madeline's on 2016 Third Street. And that is Saturday from 10 to 4. So lots of good fun things as usual going on in Tillamook. And I just want to give you a special thank you, Lilani, for all that you do. Mm. You have such important work and you have such a kind heart. And I just, I can't say enough how much we appreciate having you here. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that. Be well, Tillamook.